Hey guys, Toolman Tim here. Welcome back to the workshop where we build business, create community, find freedom, and share success. It's Saturday, which means it's time for another workshop weekend, which is my favorite edition of the workshop throughout the week. Always love it. And I've got a good one for you this week. This week is a product review and kind of an informational thing. We're going to talk about the Eneloop Pro batteries. We're going to review this starter kit and we're going to talk about the difference between the black and the white Eneloop batteries. So hang in there. I'll be right back. All right, guys, real quick. If, you're, if this is your first visit to the workshop, take a minute and run by toolmantim.co. That's toolmantim.co to find out everything there is to know about who I am, what I do, my social media links, my social media presences. You can check me out on Float, on MeWe, on Instagram, on Facebook, on Odyssey, and of course on YouTube. Friend me over there. We can interact. I love to learn from you guys. It's one of my favorite things throughout the week is answering questions and getting new information from you. And if you're looking for a recommended product, something that meets the Toolman Tim seal of approval, go by toolmantim.shop and check out, I've got well over a hundred Amazon links uh, to products that I've used in my handyman business that have either made me money or saved me money. Solutions to problems like, I spilt paint on vinyl siding, how do I remove it? Or even better than that, I gotta hang a heavy picture on a wall, can't drill a hole, what do I use? All kinds of stuff over there, go by, check it out. Anything you pick up from Amazon uh, from 24 hours after you buy that, I get a small commission which helps support the content I make here. So thank you guys, you know I appreciate it. Oh, for those of you who aren't familiar with Eneloop, number one, they seem to be, anybody in the preparedness, uh, emergency preparedness, prepper field, anything, they seem to be the rechargeable battery of choice. They are about a year and a half ago, I went all in on Eneloop. They're not cheap, but, they are absolutely reliable, they last forever, they hold a charge, and they just seem to be the, the industry standard. And they're made by Panasonic. Uh, most of them, the, the, the good quality ones, are made in factories in Japan. So look for Eneloop, look for Panasonic, look for manufactured in Japan. All of those are important, and these are, like I said, the go-to emergency preparedness rechargeable batteries. Now I've used the white brand standard Eneloop batteries, again, for about 18 months, and I love them. I've been looking at these Eneloop Pro, the black branded, pretty simple. They, you know, they, it's easy to tell them apart. You can't mix them up. And I've been thinking, is this worth it? Is it something I should pick up? Now, this cool little starter kit is on Amazon. I happen to get it on Costco because sometimes their prices are a little bit better. And I like going on the Costco website looking for things. And my wife come out one day, she goes, honey, your batteries, your, your, your expensive batteries are on sale on Costco. She goes, what about the black ones? I love her because she lets me buy this kind of stuff. So I seen this starter kit of the Eneloop Pro batteries and I thought, well, we got to give this a shot. So I picked it up. Now, down the road in another month or so, we're going to do a comparison of the different types of batteries I keep on hand and the runtime and things like that. But I wanted to do kind of a separate review video where I could fill you in on some of the ins and the outs of what this is and whether it's worth the investment. So I think this was like $65 Canadian for this little pack. So not cheap, but what the heck is up with Eneloop Pro batteries? Why are they branded, why are they branded black over white? Are they better? Are they worse? Are they more, where do we go? So first thing I figured we'd do, let's check this out. So you see on the package, you see what comes in with it. And I think about 20% of the cost comes with this handy dandy kit that I will never keep because you guys have seen my soft sided battery storage thing that I have. Put a link in the description below for that. That's where I keep all of my rechargeables. But let's open this guy up and show you what in the heck it looks like. So here's what it comes with. Really fancy looking case. I kind of like it. It's really neat. Uh, kind of a molded plastic to hold everything. But it comes with two measly AAA batteries. I use mostly AA's anyway, so that's fine. Let's see if we can get these out of here without making too much noise on camera, hey? So there's that guy. Let's just go around the back, pop him out like that. Ruin the package while we're at it, hey? So if you want to see an up close, here are those sexy, sexy looking Eneloop Pro, Pro black batteries right there. There's the AAA. AAA has 950 milliamp hours. The AA has 2,550. They feel substantial in your hand. 
So with this kit, you're going to get two double A's, sorry, two triple A's and eight double A batteries and what they call a rapid advanced Panasonic BQCC17 plug-in charger. There you go, right there. Pretty handy. So that's what you get for, I think it was about $65 Canadian. I'll stop saying that because it was, you know, anyway, but whatever. Anyway, they're, they're available all over. I don't like listing prices because things change throughout time, but that was the price I think I paid for them. So this is what you get. That is the kit. It's a really good, you know, if, if you had, if you hadn't started or hadn't get into Eneloop at all, this would be a really cool starter pack to get you going. I still only have double and triple A Eneloop batteries. Now these are interchangeable. You know, I like to keep all the same type, but where these are two different brands of the same company, the same type, I thought I'd give it a shot. All I had was my one expensive PowerX charger. I thought, hey, just in case, it's better two is one, one is none, right? And I thought, why not get this for this little charger as well? So what exactly is the big to do about these black and aloop batteries? Well, number one, and I'm going to have to read just a little bit here, guys, because I'm not good enough to remember all these numbers off the top of my head. So if I look down occasionally, it's not because I'm ignoring you. It's because I'm old and I can't remember shit. So <laughs> anyway, all right. So if we want to compare apples to apples, or we want to know is the cost of the black worth the investment over the white. What's the difference? So you'll see on the package in here, well, number one, it's charged in a factory that's powered by solar power. So your initial charge is uh, green energy. So if that's important to you, just so you know, anyway. <laughs> so the big thing with these suckers is they have about a 25% capacity higher than the original white and a loop batteries. These are 2,550 in the AA and 2000 milliamp hours in the white ones. So if your only consideration is total energy capacity in a rechargeable battery, this is the way to go. Now, let's dig in a little deeper, however. So you're paying more for these batteries, you're getting a higher capacity, great. But the amount of recharges, so over the lifespan of a battery, and this is where all this stuff's gonna get a little bit technical, but anyway, the amount of recharge, recharging cycles on the black is 500. Now, you might say, well, Tim, I'm never gonna use it 500 times, and you're probably right. So maybe this is a stat that's meaningless, but I'm gonna tell you for all you battery geeks out there too. This is good for 500 recharge cycles throughout its life. You would have to charge that once a week for 10 years to wear this out. And I don't charge any of my batteries once a week, let alone mainly once a month. But that being said, the other one, the white Eneloops are good for 2000 charges. So you could literally charge them once a week for, oh dear, 50 weeks into 20 years, uh, what a thousand, 20, 20 years, yeah, anyway. What's wrong with me today? My math. <laughs> so yeah, these are good. You'll get four times the amount of recharge cycles out of them with the white over the black. So, you know, is that a really big deal? I'm not so sure because simply stated, who's going to recharge a battery 500 times in their life before you lose it anyway? So that may or may not be. Now, long-term storage, that's important as well because I love to set it and forget it. Any system I can set up and not have to worry about it, I am happy. So with rechargeable batteries, another concern is how long can stuff stay charged in storage? Now, I got to read this to you too, so I'm sorry. <laughs> the storage life on the standard Eneloops, they will lose around 30% after 10 years in storage. So they still have a 70% full charge, 70% of the full charge after 10 years, an entire decade. And if you're using, if you're storing these for 10 years, maybe you should just buy some Duracells and stash them aside because, but that being said, so that shows you, you get 30% decrease over 10 years. The black ones, because of their higher capacity, will lose 15% in the first year. Again, negligible, but I don't know. So yeah, you're going to keep 70% for 10 years with the white batteries, and you're going to lose 15% in the very first year. They, I think intentionally don't break that down over a 10 year period because I'm thinking they won't last that long. But that being said, due to the higher capacity, they seem to lose their uh, juice 
quite a bit quicker, 15% after the first year. So that's another one. So like I said, if overall consideration, if your only consideration is capacity, this is the way to go. If you're looking for longevity, then I would probably say look at the standard Eneloop white batteries. Now, something else I wanted to talk about was cost. So I'm not going to use dollars, but I'll use percentages and that sort of thing because, again, not really supposed to list pricing because it, well, number one, it, it's not good for affiliate sales, but the main thing is things just change. And if I tell you a price right now, in a week, somebody's going to post a nasty comment in the comments below saying, you lied about this price. And you're right. That's why I don't like the list pricing. But when I bought these, a 16 pack of AA standard Eneloops were 40 bucks on Amazon. The same 16 in black were 65 almost a 50% increase in cost. So for a 25% increase in capacity, you're looking at one and a half times the cost of the white. In my mind, I can probably buy a lot more white batteries for that extra 50% increase. But again, if you need high capacity, this is definitely the way to go. Now, a couple other things I'll throw at you. Remember, these are damned expensive batteries. You know, the black ones I think are close to $4 a battery. So a couple of life pro tips that I always try to throw into my battery videos. Number one, remember, well, don't rely on your brain for this, but keep a notepad in your phone. And every time you put some of these rechargeable batteries in it, I always put where the battery went, what the date was and how many I put there. So then when I'm needing to know where my rechargeable batteries are, I can go get them. That's number one, because if you don't, invariably you'd be like, oh yeah, I'll remember where that is. Two weeks later, where the hell did I put those batteries, honey? And then I'll spend, you know, two hours looking through the house, looking for those batteries. She'll be like, just leave it alone. It's okay. Be like, honey, where did I leave them? I can't remember. I should have. And you know, so write it all down in a notepad on your phone. Yeah, that's important. And number two, something else that I do, because I have adult kids and I'm sure I've told you this story before, but keep regular throwaway batteries on hand as well. Number one, I keep a bunch of Kirklands on hand for my twins upstairs when they're playing Xbox. They go through batteries like there's no tomorrow. So I give them the Kirkland ones just because they're inexpensive. But the main, the more important thing is, is when your kids knock on the door and they come or somebody says, hey, Tim, do you have batteries? Oh yeah, I've got batteries. And then you reach into your junk drawer and you give them a, an eight pack of Sunbeam batteries. They're like, oh no, I, I don't need that many. You're like, take them. I paid $1.25 at Dollar Tree. I don't tell them that, but that's what I paid. You can have them. They're only going to last you a couple hours, but it'll get you by for what you need. Kirkland, you know, what is it? A 48 pack for $18 or something. So I don't mind giving a handful of those batteries away, but I will be damned if I'm going to give away my Eneloop batteries. We sold a, uh, or gave it away for free. We had um, an LED uh, outdoor umbrella and the guy came to get it and I was going out to the shop to pick it up and I panicked because I realized I had four of my Eneloop batteries in there and I had to find a screwdriver. I said, you got to wait, man. I'm sorry. And I was like 15 minutes trying to find the tools to take it apart, but I was not sending four of my Eneloop batteries away with some stranger because they're my babies. But yeah, so keep some extra batteries. What I do, you know, when you guys get like, um, well, the wife always gets me uh, flashlights or little gadgets and stuff for Christmas. And they always come with a shrink wrap pack of two or three batteries and they're great, but they don't last very long. I throw them in my junk drawer as well. I use, I always put brand new or fresh recharged Eneloops into my devices and all those go into the junk drawer. Those are the batteries that I give to other people when they need them. And that's great. And I don't mind giving a handful of those away because I, I don't care if I ever, I'm not, because whatever you give to somebody, you're not just plan on the fact that you're not going to see it. You're never going to get it back. So Set yourself up so that you don't have to, because if somebody comes and says, I really need batteries for something, I'm in a hard way, you're going to give them something. And if all you have is some Eneloops, you're going to begrudgingly still give them some batteries because they need batteries for their flashlight, for their remote, whatever it happens to be. So if you set yourself up for success, keep a junk drawer full of inexpensive batteries you find, you know, that you buy at a store or stuff that you save from these devices that, you know, they're good, but at least you can get your other um, devices into your system already and using your rechargeable batteries. So then you get those to throw them away. Call them throwaway batteries, but it's a good way to protect your investment in these. So what are my thoughts on the Eneloop Pros? Well, they're good. I, so personally, I don't think they're worth the extra cost. 
I don't care so much about capacity. I'm sure there's some uses out there that you guys absolutely would care about the higher capacity, and that's cool. They look really sharp. They look really cool. They're sleek. They're, I love them. I love the fact that I got this extra little charger with it, which is really good. Um, oh, yeah, give you a little information on that charger before I forget. It'll do two double A's in two hours, uh, or it'll do four in four hours, and you can do either two double A's or two triple A's and split the difference. Three hours for two double Anyway, so it's not a bad charger. It's not as fast as my Power X or whatever that I have in the house that I really like. I'm going to get another one of those too, because if something happens to it, I will be a sad, sad camper. But to me, honestly, I think I'm going to stick with buying the white and a loop batteries. If I can get these for the same price, yeah, I'll probably buy them because the other considerations, if these come down in price, I'll probably switch over to the black because to me, the difference between 500 and 2000 recharging cycles and the difference of losing 15% in one year as to 30% over 10, that's not that big of a deal to me. But to me, it all comes down to cost. I know Eneloop batteries are Eneloop batteries are Eneloop batteries almost anywhere except for a while there was some fake ones being put out on the market. I'm not really sure how we counteract that, but that being said, if you buy your Eneloop from a reliable, reputable source, you should be good to go. And for me, it all comes down to the cost per unit. So wherever I can find the cheapest in most inexpensive Eneloop batteries per battery, that's where I'm going to buy them. The bigger the package I got to buy, I'm okay with that if it break, breaks down the cost a little more. If you, I don't mind having a few of these, so if I ever come into something I need a little extra capacity, sure, I will. But I don't think I'm going to buy any more of these black ones. I'm happy with the white ones. I'm happy with my Eneloop system that I have. If you guys have checked these out, let me know. Down the road, probably next month, we'll have a weekend workshop where I think I'm going to use some little... Um, remote control cars that my wife has at the preschool going to bring them home and we're going to do some battery draining testing we're going to put the white beside the black and we're also for fun going to put in my uh, kirkland brand and my sunbeam dollar tree brand and we're going to see what kind of life we get out of these batteries cost comparison and you know again who doesn't like talking about batteries i know i do and you wouldn't be here if you didn't like listening to me talk about batteries so i appreciate that <laughs> All right, guys, if you've got any tips, if you use any brands of rechargeable batteries that you like better, or maybe something you'd like me to throw into the test, some type of brand of battery I don't use, I might try that. I would love suggestions. A ton of the content that I get for these videos comes from suggestions from you guys. So keep it coming. Throw it in the comments below. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Go by toolmantim.co. All of that jazz. You know I appreciate it. And as always, guys, you know, stay happy, stay healthy, and have a great week.